Well, I'm all set up here in the barn to get the wheel weights on. <clears throat> the easiest way I have to put the wheel weights on the tractor is to jack up the back end so that way you can rotate the wheels around. So that way you can get to the bolts under there. I, uh, I didn't bring down a ratchet with me, which is something you will definitely want. So I have to run up and grab one before I really get going here. I also have to go get a set of Allen keys because I haven't checked it today, but I know I've been having problems with the brake drum on this tractor. The brake drum has actually been loosening up on the shaft that it rides on. Fortunately, it cannot fall off the way the brake band mounts to it. The drum is not able to slide out from inside the band in the frame. It just rubs on everything. My brake band is pretty much shot, so I need a new brake band, need a new brake drum. It's just something I'll get to one of these one of these days. I'm not worried about it now because it does still work. It's a keyed shaft, so even if it's loose, it will work. It's just this thing was used and abused before I got it. So I've got these two old crank jacks here. I don't have a handle for them, so I just use this old tire iron here. It works. Wish I did have a handle, but I don't. So my hydraulic jacks up to the house, and I don't feel like bringing it down right now. So I'll just use these two. And uh, think safe when you're doing this. Always use two jacks instead of one, so that way it's not all tippy and uh, try to use jack stands if you're going to be working underneath of it. But I'm not going to be working underneath of it today, so no need for jack stands. These are crank up screw jacks, so the chance of these things setting down is very slim, so they're probably a little safer to use than hydraulic jacks. So I'm going to get it jacked up and then get my socket. I'm now ready to put the wheel weight on the tractor. I have the bolts ready to go, all four of them. Fourth one's on the seat. I have a three quarter inch socket because that's the size nut I'm using. These have a square head on the bolt which fits into these holes right here. Before you put your wheel weights on a, the tractor, especially like this, you always make sure your lug nuts are tight. And this one they are. I have two sets of rims for this tractor. I have the turf tires that were original to it, and then this set of rims I took off at 300 before I sold it. So I've just didn't put the weights back on it, I don't think. The tractor is jacked up. I've got both jacks up, so you can see the wheels spin freely. This is also a good time to check your axle bearings. We'll try to wiggle your wheels around, see if you got a bad bearing on either of your axles. This one here seems okay. Give it a spin. I can't really hear any bearing noise, so I guess we're good to go. I believe this transmission has a bad input bearing. It's a little bit noisy, but otherwise it seems fine. So I'm going to put the weight on the tire. I'll show you how to do that. I don't have a tripod or my Canon camera at the moment, so I'll have to turn it off. But when you're putting the weight on the wheel, you gotta keep in mind the valve stems there. So you see this hole and this hole, look at the position of those, and then you'll see on the weight, I've got this hole and this hole, and this is where the valve stem will go, or it'll be on this side, it doesn't really matter. These weights are, I forget how much they weigh, I'm pretty sure they're 55, 60 pounds, something like that each, cast iron. Cub Cadets use a similar size weight. And pretty much all wheel weights we'll put on will have a cutout for the valve stem, so this is pretty universal how to put them on. Doesn't really matter what brand you have, it's pretty much the same procedure. But the reason it's easiest to jack it up is because when you're putting the bolts on, this bolt will go in from under here and the nut will stick out the front right here in those little holes there. On this particular tractor I believe on the John Deere style weight you'll see that recess section right there and there's a raised section here. 
depending on which way you have the rims facing, whether they're dished in or dished out, depend. that's what tells you which way to put the weight on. These are stackable wheel weights in this case. I've only got one set to put another set on. What you do is you only use two bolts right here, or you use longer bolts, and then you just stagger these to bolt the weights together. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the rim. Okay, you'll see now I've got one bolt started. It's just on there loose. Forgot to mention, this is a good time if you have steered steel toe footwear. This would be a good time to wear that because I'm not currently wearing boots or anything right now, just uh, shoes. But if you were to drop one of these on your toe, I can tell you it would not feel good. <laughs> This is pretty heavy. This is not something you want to drop on your toe, so be careful lifting them onto the rim because it is kind of, it takes a little bit of practice to balance the weight on the rim and get the bolt through all at the same time sometimes. Now, my valve stem, as I mentioned, with my flashlight here, my valve stem, as I mentioned, will be in that little recess right there. So you always got to watch for that when you're putting the weights on. So, I am now going to put the rest of the bolts on, and then I'm going to tighten them all up. And as I said, I wanted the tires jacked up so I could just rotate it like that to stick them through. So I'll be back in a minute. Well, I'm nearly done with this side here. I just got to tighten it up. And then uh, we're on to the next side. I'm not going to film that because it's just redundant. Okay, weight is on the tractor. Valve stem is centered in that little notch. And the wheel weight is on good and solid. It might not be perfectly centered in the rim, but that's okay. That's something that you can adjust if you really care about it. By shimming it or whatever. So this is mainly for people who have never done this before, maybe have had some questions. It's pretty simple. It's just how I do it. Alrighty.